Hi friends, it's Chrissy here. So I want to take you on a booth tour. So booth 28 in our antique mall just got a little makeover. Um, and I just, I'm really impressed and proud with what she did to it. So I just wanted to share um, some pro tips that I think are excellent upgrades to her booth. I should have done a before and after, but I didn't get that done. So sorry about that. So anyway, what I want to start with is if I can come here and do catty corner kind of. So it's kind of, you can kind of see the booth. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. But one thing that she did really well on this makeover is that she categorized, bleh, categorized, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes talking's hard. Anyway, um, sections in her booth is which I, something that I, totally recommend and can't stress enough to vendors. So for example, we got this bookcase here. She designated this bookcase all to her Christmas. And the thing is when people are walking by and they're into Christmas, they're going to walk by and if they see a cluster, it's going to draw them in to at least stop, touch, and look. And that is the goal um, in retail period. You know, that's just why they put, you know, impulsive things at the cash register because they're there. Your eye catches it, your senses, you might touch it, you're going to take it. So, buy it. Um, but that's the same thing with here. It's like you want to get people to stop, look, and touch your product because once they hold it, they connect to it and you increase your chances of making the sale. So, cluster like stuff together. Number one pro tip. So the other thing is, this vendor in, in particular also sells a lot of new kitchen towels. She does good with that. Um, and I don't know if you can tell here, but she clustered them. So she put this cluster here and a couple other ones. And what I want to point out about that, just like I said with the Christmas presentation, when you cluster things, if you don't do it with like items, you can do it with like colors. So for instance, just walking by, this color scheme screams out to mid-century modern people. You know, the ones that like the, the mushroom, like 70s, that type of vibe. That color scheme screams out to them. So if you have items that are a certain color scheme, put them together and you will be amazed at what that can do. The other thing is that one there is like soft pastels. It'd be great for spring and summer. She did put a lot of the summer colors over there with the barbecue ones all themed together. So it just, it increases the visual effect, the prettiness, we'll call it. Let this one here look like somebody must have, ooh, made a bigger mess. Somebody must have looked at these today. But um, it just, it's, it's pretty on the eyes and you're more apt to get the consumer to stop look and touch your item and increase the, the sale chance. The other thing is like this little settee set here. She has an antique rocker, some newer linens, um, old placemats, hanky, a basket. Now you could have just thrown the scarves anywhere and the books anywhere, but this is such a better presentation to make it look like you had your stuff together and you just sat and clustered it. It's just, it's, it's more appealing and you're more apt to sell stuff if you cluster. Just like putting these um, vintage linen placemats on here, it just softens it. It looks appealing. It flows with the color scheme and you're more apt to sell the stuff just because of the visual. And same way back here. She has this picnic table. The picnic table, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day this picnic basket and she put in these cushion seat beds, um, some linen tablecloths to choose from. If she didn't have those, she could have put in some towels, baskets, just things that go like things together. So even if it's not a certain color scheme, just putting like items or items that kind of go together together makes a much better presentation. Again here, she put in her clear items clear dishes and glassware and she also added depth and dimension so she stacked like items staggered put different heights together 
it just gives a flow and a much prettier presentation than if she would have this dish sitting over there, you know, and this dish sitting on the rocker. It just like and, and complementary things together. So the other thing, she has this wire, it's kind of like a birdcage design, wire shelving unit, which is really cool. And put minimal items on it. We're so tempted because we want to use all of our space to cram as much on there as possible. If you're selling the fixture, which I always recommend to put a price on everything in your booth. If it's something you're like, oh, but I really don't want to sell it. Put a price on there that's so high that if you sell it, you're going to be so excited. So it's a win-win for everybody. So do that. But the whole point of this is the minimal things and having different heights and depths and dimensions and like colors or similar colors, it, it helps it looks it make it look clean, appealing. You're going to stop and look if anything catches your attention or if you just like the shelving unit. One thing I don't, I'm not a fan of are big gaudy signs like this. Um, we put up signs for sales just to let some people know, but for the majority, people don't read signs. I know, I hate to say it. If you can get them to stop, step in your booth, and touch the item, you are 10 times more likely to increase your sale. I shouldn't say 10 times, a lot more times likely to increase your sales than by having a sign. A sign gets a small percentage in, um, and it'll get the people that are just out browsing and wasting time. If they do see a sale, they'll step in just for nosiness. Um, but if they're serious or an impulse buyer, signs don't do it, presentation does. So just try it and let me know in the comments how it works for you guys. The other thing is she took these shelves. She had two that were similar. I'm going to step back here again. You can see she has two that are similar, and she separated them and put them in the corner. So she has, you know, um, where it looks the same, symmetrical, but has, you know, height, depth, dimension, but she didn't overwhelm and shove product on there. Um, she did it, her shelf, you know, you can see here how she tried to put, like, like color things together. None of this necessarily goes together, but the colors make it flow and complement one, one another. And same there, and then same down here. And then look how she just has a miscellaneous jar and a wood drawer, and then candlesticks. And I mean, but it's such a pretty presentation, just setting things that are similar, different heights, colors, and it just flows. Here's a fun piece that I think people will like, is this wicker boho shelving unit. And she's had this in here for a while, but you could not see it. It was so full of stuff. And she put it in a better place. She cleaned it up and made themes. So in the center, do you see how she put all like red, white, and blue kind of summer themes? Um, she went with the boho look, put all her fall scrap together. It just, it's more appealing. And as I step back here, sorry guys, um, it's just a better presentation and it's not so clustering on the eye when you see it. So that's that. And she did the same over here. She put all of her white milk glass type products together, um, her haul and some pottery. She tried to put her aluminum products and you can just kind of see, she put her Christmas towels on the back of the Christmas. And it just, showing you before and after would have been way more impressive, I know, but I slapped on the sun, guys. But I just hope that gives you an idea, and again, I can't stress enough, is cluster. Like things, like colors, you know, things that complement each other, just put them together. It it makes the world's difference. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and how she incorporated old vintage and antique all in her booth. Um, and it appeals to something for everybody. So till next time, stay fabulous, stay awesome, and keep on thrifting.